Hey, I'm Kevin. Welcome to Concept One Shop Talk. Today we're going to give you some information on some small block forward components uh, that pertain to our small block forward kits. We have long water pumps, short water pumps, and different balancers. Okay, we're going to compare a long water pump and a short water pump uh, for the small block forwards. Uh, uh, the short water pump kit we offer, and the only reason to, to use that thing is if you have a clearance issue. Uh, the old long water pumps, you can see by the time it's put on the timing cover, is, is pretty tall. I think it's like eight and three quarters from, a, uh, from the face of the block. The short water pump is about an inch and three quarters shorter. So what that does is gives us uh, quite a bit of room. Sometimes an inch or two is, is as much as a, you know, is as good as a mile, I guess you would say. But uh, I want to show you the difference in the two timing covers, what you have to do to change them, some of those things. All right, obviously the height difference is the reason we would do that. Now, to be able to recognize what you have, uh, a long water pump is basically the standard length water pump from about, I don't know, 1970 up to the uh, mid 90s. Um, if you take that water pump off, you look, you're going to have a, a flat plate on the back of it, so you can't see the impeller. Also, the timing cover will be pretty much flat. There's about an eighth of an inch gap there, but it's pretty well flat there. Some of them do not have this, but most would have a provision for a mechanical fuel pump. So if we decide, so if, if, if you've got plenty of room, you have a long water pump timing cover, you can use the 86 to 93 5 liter Mustang water pump. It'll bolt right to your old timing cover. So that, that's pretty easy. If you do have a clearance issue and you do need to change from the long water pump to a short water pump, what we use is a 94-95 Mustang water pump and timing cover. Ford Racing sells a kit, uh, I think it's an M-8501-A50. So that'd be the water pump timing cover kit. But you can see the difference in the water pumps. A lot of difference there. The timing cover is pretty easy to recognize too because on the short water pump, you can see the, the impeller is um, exposed and it runs back into the housing some. So there's one way to, to look at it. Also on the 9495 timing cover, you'll notice it doesn't have a provision for a mechanical fuel pump. You do have to run an electric fuel pump to run this timing cover. Um, it will fit the older blocks and all that stuff. That's not a problem. You just have to take the cam, the fuel pump cam that is mounted on the end of the camshaft, you'd have to remove it and then you can install this timing cover. One other thing you need to, would need to consider if you have an old oil pan and you were using the dipstick uh, up in front that goes through the timing cover, the 94-95 Mustang water pump does not have a provision for a, um, a dipstick. A couple of options. You can change your oil pan, it has a dipstick in the oil pan. Or there is material right here, and we've done it in the past, is drill this put an aftermarket dipstick in it. I usually seal it with some uh, JB Weld or something like that, and we've had zero problems with it. So I would just try to, if you had to do that, just compare about the height from here to where the tube goes in, and that, that's not a hard thing to do. One last thing I do want to uh, talk about too, while I'm talking about timing covers, on a uh, like a pre-70 small block forward, especially we see them usually on like a 289. People have the old style timing cover. They look pretty much the same and they are pretty much the same, but there are, uh, there's one major difference. Uh, if you notice the ear thickness on these housings or these covers, this one's only probably about three eighths of an inch thick, where the later model ones are inch and a half. Now, biggest thing that concerns us on that is 
since this is about a 70 and up type cover, all, uh, there's a spacer that goes here to the AC compressor bracket and they're all cut to this length. If, um, if you're running the old one, you need to let us know or you may have to make a spacer if you don't think about it. Let us know and we can make a longer spacer. So that's, that's a pretty, pretty simple fix also. While we're on the front of the engine, let me show you uh, the differences in some uh, harmonic balancers. All of our crank pulleys are made for a stock four bolt balancer. And as you can tell, these things have a boss that stick out on them right there. So this length is what we're looking for. Now, a lot of the crate engines that people buy, and they, or they've, you know, they've built an engine and they're looking for a SFI certified harmonic balancer, which are uh, you know, high-end balancers, they can get something like this, which is a Ford Racing for a small block, but if you'll notice, it has a lot more holes in it. This thing has a four bolt pattern and a three bolt pattern in it. So the, what that does to us is it makes it shorter from the face, from here to the face than this one. So therefore, people call, hey, my crank pulley doesn't line up. Well, on this one, because the three bolt balancer was shorter, so this one had to be made shorter. So the, the solution to that is you have to run a crank spacer. Most of the time they're a seven eighths of an inch. Um, but we, we carry them, Ford Racing carries them. But we have a, a, a spacer mounted on the front between the, this would go from between the balancer and the crank pulley and that'll solve the, the offset difference. Thanks for watching Concept One Shop Talk and we'll see you next time.